Hey, welcome to a quick video on how to build a game inside the Social Scavenger app. This is the abbreviated version. There's a nice 20 minute long, slow walk through the whole thing. This is for uh, people who want to crank this out in five minutes. So let's get going. We're going to go to app.socialscavenger.com to build our game. And when we get there, we're going to sign in in the top right. I'm going to sign in with Facebook. You could sign in with Twitter or create an email account. It's totally up to you. Uh, okay, I've signed in with Facebook and it's taken me to the Game Builder page so I can see I'm signed in. And the first option is going to be Create. Below that I see other games I've got access to. Uh, you won't see anything at the very start. So this game's going to be called Rocky Style Inspiration. And if Rocky can't get you moving, who can? Right? And we're going to give it the game entry code, Rocky Rules, and the email address is my email, warren at socialscavenger.com. And that way, if the system needs to reach out to me, send me a notification, it knows who to contact as the admin. That's it. I've basically built the shell for my game. The only thing I'd recommend doing in the advanced section, the only thing uh, really right now, is changing moderation. If it's at none, change it to post stream. That one means when people submit photos and videos or whatever the case may be, you can still go into the system and delete them after they get to the live stream. So games are private. It just gives you a nice little way um, to make that happen. Pricing, you can try it for free. So we're not going to pay right now. But say I was doing a birthday party, I would go over to a personal license. I would pick how many teams, uh, not players, so five teams. And then I would check out and pay. Uh, if I was doing a team building thing, that would be more commercial and, you know, up to 10 teams. Again, uh, it's reflected in the pricing. So I'm going to save that and now I'm moving on to the challenges. In the challenges area, it's going to start off with a default challenge just so there's not blank here, but we're going to delete that because we don't need to do a I Love Toronto challenge. This is all about loving Rocky. So I'm going to just add a new challenge. I'm going to give it, uh, I'm going to call it Stairway to Inspiration. And for all you Rocky fans, climb a set of stairs quickly, running, ideally, and celebrate at the top. Catch it all on video to earn your points. We're going to go ahead and make this a video challenge. You can see down here we've got the options of different types of challenges, photo, video, trivia, stickers, text, QR codes. There's more on that. Uh, you can learn about each different challenge type. This is going to be a video. We're going to say this one's kind of aggressive. We're going to make it worth 40 points. Uh, we could put in a location, but we're not going to. We're going to say you can do this in any city. You don't have to go up the stairs in Philadelphia. And we're not going to lock it to any other challenges. And we're going to let it show up in the live stream. So really all we had to do is just type it in, give it a certain amount of points. The rest we can leave blank. I could leave this default image as the image that shows up, but I like my games to have custom images for each challenge. So remind people of what we're talking about. You could embed a YouTube video or do other things. And that's it, we've got a challenge. So I'm gonna add a new challenge. This is gonna be called uh, Rocky Wear. And we are going to say, quite simply, where was Rocky from? We're going to go ahead and make this a trivia challenge. And then because it's a trivia challenge, it's going to ask us to put in the acceptable answers. So Philadelphia is the answer. We'll put in Philly and we'll uh, spell Philadelphia wrong. So I can put in any combination of things in here uh, that are going to count for points. And we're going to make this one worth five points. Again, uh, this time I won't add a custom image just so you can see the difference in the actual app. I'm going to move this one up. So that video is the first one you see. And that's it. I mean, now it's a question of let's test it out. Let's take a look. Obviously, we're going to build more challenges if you want challenge ideas. Uh, we've got lots. We've got games that are pre-made ready for you. Uh, just get in touch. So we've downloaded Social Scavenger, the app. I'm going to go log out. Uh, and here I go. I'm going to come in with Facebook. Log in with Facebook. And then I'm going to go find my game. Uh, my game was called Rocky something and searching for Rocky and Rocky Style Inspiration. I'm going to join this game. Uh, it's not asking me for a passcode right now because I'm the creator of the game. Uh, it'll ask your friends for a passcode. I can go into challenges. Um, you know, there you can see the difference between an image and the default image. Where was Rocky from? Rocky was from Philly. Oh, not old Philly. He was from regular Philly. 
And that was correct. Nice work. Uh, I'm not going to share that. I could go in, uh, do my video now, film my video, choose one, shoot one, etc. And all of this is going to get pushed up to the live stream um, when we put content up there. And the leaderboard is going to get updated uh, as other teams join and they earn points. That's it. We've created a game. Uh, you can always add more challenges. As we add challenges in the back end, they're going to show up in the app. So we can test, 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 and we're ready to go. We just need to go back to the settings page, check out and pay. Uh, then we can invite our friends and get going. So have a great time. Have a great hunt. If you're looking for more inspiring ideas on actual challenges, feel free to reach out to us. Otherwise, happy hunting and good luck.